Carlos Alcaraz versus Andre Rublev. The second quarter final for the Madrid Open for 2024. And both guys have had different rows to get to the stage. Rublev into the tournament as a number seven seed, and we get a buy in the first round. In the second round, he take on the qualifier Bagnus. There's no problem getting through in straight. 6 1 6 4. Third round, he take on the 27th seed for Kina. And after a very close first set, would win in straights. 7 6 6 4. In the fourth round, he take on the 24th seed Griegspor, who had just taken out Runa in the previous round. And again, no problem for Rublev getting through in straights. 6 2 6 4 to advance to the quarterfinals. Alcaraz ends the tournament as a number two seed. We get a buy in the first round. In the second round, he take on Shevchenko. There's no problem getting through in straights. 6 2 6 1. Third round, he take on Vilch, who had just taken out Musetti in the previous round. And again, no problem for Alcaraz getting through in straights. 6-3, six, 6-3. Three, six, three. In the fourth round, he take on the 23rd seed Struff, the man he beat in the final last year to win his second straight Madrid title. And this was a battle, with Alcaraz winning the first and Struff winning the second, and Struff fighting back in a third set to force a tie break, with Alcaraz getting through eventually. 6-3, six, 6-7, six, seven, seven, six to advance to the quarterfinals. These two have only played one time before. That was back at the ATP Finals last year, with Alcaraz getting a straight sets win, 7-5-6-2, but on a clay court, and the way that these guys have been playing this week, especially Rublev, with a bit of a resurgence, it should be a much closer encounter this time around. If Rublev's gonna win this one, he needs to keep his cool. He's been playing so well this week and being able to keep his cool, which is something that really he struggled against, of course, getting defaulted in Dubai and then since then, he hasn't really figured out how to mentally be on the court, but it's finally getting some form, and he needs to keep that in check and also be aggressive against Alcaraz because that's what worked with Struff in the last match against Alcaraz. Because that's what Struff did in the last match against Alcaraz to some success. If Alcaraz is going to win this one, he can't muck around like he did against Struff a little bit. He was up 5-2 in the final set against Struff, and he lost the lead. He was also in the tiebreak, up 3-love, and then lost the lead there as well. So he's got to keep the lead when he gets it. And he can't muck around with Rublev because Rublev is serious and Rublev knows how to win these big matches. Really fun matchup and really intriguing matchup, especially considering what just happened with Alcaraz in the last round and also with Rublev getting some form. But I've got to go with Alcaraz in this one. In a close three-setter, I think the crowd will elevate Alcaraz into that semi-final. And I think Rublev might just lose in the end, but let me know in the comments below who's making the semi.